Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a parameter query and base a report on that parameter query. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to use a student's database, which I've now got on the screen. And we've been working in this database over the last three sessions. So a recap of the database, first of all, we have three tables, courses, schools and students and we did one query to show us the school averages and then we did two forms one for school and one for students that's what we've done so far so now what i need to do is create another query that we can create a parameter on and then base a report on that so it's going to be create query i need to add the courses table and the school table. What I want this query to do is show me each school and all of this information. I can get rid of some of these fields in a second. So if I just double click at the top to highlight everything and drag and drop, that's the quickest way. And then let's just get rid of this, these three fields. Let's have a quick look at that. So that lists the schools, which is great and the scores on the doors for each of these courses. So if I go back into design, to do a parameter query, you need to be on the criteria line underneath the school name and use a square bracket to start the parameter off. And then you type a prompt, which is a sentence or a phrase that will appear inside the parameter box like that. Now, when I run this, it will ask me for the school name. And when I type a school, it will only show me those records. So let's just do that. So it's asking me for the school. So that's the prompt, same as that. I'm going to type Buttershaw. So it should just show me the schools for Buttershaw. And it does. So that works. Now I need to save that. So I'll call that QRY school results and that is the query that i'm going to base a report on just close that off school result results and you're going to create a report and i'll just do a i'll do the wizard report wizard so bringing it all across and then it's going to ask me for if i want any grouping so i've got options of doing that it's obviously going to be school name. Yeah, it's already on school name, so that's okay. Next, ascending, that's okay. Next, I want it landscape. Next, and uh, it's going to be RPT for report and school. It's going to be a QRY actually. QRY school. School results so that so you can read that and understand what it's looking at finish now the prompt comes up asking you for a school so I'll type Buttershore again and it will show me the results the three results for Buttershore like so so if I close that and close this so every time I run this report, it will ask me for one of these schools. So I can type any of these schools. So I've got Cramerton High, County High, Whipsy. I think Buttershaw is the only one that's got two, two entries. So that's why I keep typing it. But I'll type Kings the next time. And it'll just show me Kings, the results for Kings. Oh, there's two for Kings. And you can see how that works. So Kings, like so. So these are the scores for Kings. Close it up, close it off. So I don't need to run the query. The query is already running every time I open this. If I do it again and put, uh, I'll just put Buttershaw again. Okay, it'll open up Buttershaw. So that's how you create a parameter query. And then how you base a report on that. Now, if I want all of the results, obviously I can't have a parameter on it. But what I could do is I could just right click there, copy that query. 
and then paste it and rename it. So a copy of Query Schools. So I could put that all, results all. OK. And then I need to go into that and get rid of the parameter box. Like so. And then save it. Close it down. And then you base a report on that. So if I do the same sort of report, create a report, I'll do the wizard. All across. Next. That's OK. Next. That's OK. Next. Next. And landscape. And then next, and then give it the title QRY RPT, should I say? RPT QRY School Results All School Results All. Okay, finish. So then you get everything coming in, but grouped by school. So there's a three for Buttershaw, two for Kings, etc. Every, every other one's just got one. So you can see the, the top results. I'll close that one off. So we've now got two reports and two queries, one of which is a parameter query, one isn't. So this is just a very short video of how to create a parameter query in Microsoft Access and base a report on that parameter query. And this is part of the student's database. So the next bit we're going to do is try to automate this a little bit to get some navigational forms on the screen so you can click buttons and navigate around the database. But for now, that's all I want to go through. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.